What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is the helper here and today we're going to do a skill tutorial and we're going to put some skills to the boss and it's going to be pretty awesome. So yeah, uh, the first thing we need to do as always is go into plugins folder epic boss gold edition and we're going to uh, go inside mobs folder and add some skills to the test boss and we have to open it up in notepad plus plus. So we're going to add some skills to this boss. So the first thing we need to do is do skills. And then we're going to uh, open up Google Chrome or your web browser. And we're going to go to the helper.com dash epic boss. And let me just close this one. There we go. So we're going down here and we're going to all skills list and here we find all the skills uh, we can use in Epic Boss Gold Edition. And we're going to do the message skill so we can just copy this and we can see that the radius here is the radius of blocks. So every player inside the radius will get a message but if we put zero uh, it will target all players in the world. And then we can just put the message and we have some HP and chance here that I will explain. So we copy this and we go inside here and we paste it and we can do uh, zero since we want everyone to see this message just for a test. And we do the message and we're going to do some color and then health is above 150. And then we do this. This means that the uh, if we put boss health just yes, to see if the boss health is more than 150 but we don't write this out we just do it like this and then the chance uh, to 100 percent and we copy this and i will show you all the stuff we can do with this health thing so we do health is uh, less than 150 but more than 100 so by doing this we can do 150 and 100. So if the health is between 150 and 100 it will execute. And then we can do health is uh, less less than 100. And then we know the boss health is there. So we put it like this and we the boss health is less than 100 and 100% and then we can do health is 50 and we can do uh, equals 50 so this one will execute if the bus is has more than 150 this will execute when the bus has between 150 and 100 this will execute when the bus has less than 100 and this will execute only once and that's when the bus has 50 percent health 50 health left and I'm going to change some colors so we can see it better. Just take some random. Uh, let's put C. And we save it. We start up the server. As always. We go in game. Alright, so we spawn the boss. Let's see if AB mob spawn this boss. We spawn it. And we uh, can see health is above 150. And we can hit it, and we can see that the health is more than 150, and now it's less than 150 but more than 100. So if we continue to hit him, we will soon be less than 100. And uh, now we're going to hit it until it will show uh, health equals 50. And it will be there, health is 50. So now it will soon die. So that was quite easy. And it works pretty well. So if we go back, we're going to remove this, and we can do uh, on every 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 <laughs> hit, <laughs> and we put uh, if the boss has more than zero health, which is always. So that's pretty good, and we can do. Uh, 20% on every hit and we put the same with this one more than one and we put 20% we save it go in game do 
EB reload and we spawn the boss and you can see on every hit and then sometimes it will be 20% chance that the other skill executes. So that's quite good if you want some variation. So that's how you make skills, pretty easy. But I'm going to show you how to make a, a skill pack. So we're actually going to go, we're actually, I love the word actually. So we're actually going to go into Epic Pass Gold Edition and we go into skills and we're going to create a new YML file. And if you have watched the other tutorials, you will know how to do this very easy. So we do test skills.yml. We save it. We can delete this one. And we have test skills. Open it up with Notepad. And we're going to do the CMD name. And we're going to be Blast. And then, uh, like this, two spaces. And then cool down. And the cooldown is in seconds. And how cooldown works is. Uh, if we hit on uh, execute the skill on every hit uh, and we execute it, it can't be executed again until the cooldown is done. So we put 5 seconds, so even if we have it on every hit, it can only be executed every 5 seconds. So that's pretty good, so it's in seconds. So then we're going to do the skills that is going to be executed. So if we go back to this uh, website, the uh, my website, <laughs> and we're going to uh, use uh, some nice effects, and we're going to do the radius firework, and we copy this, and we go in here, and we are going to put uh, amount, radius, ball type, color, flicker, true, blah blah. blah. So amount, we're going to have 50. This will actually, the radius firework will create a circle of fireballs and we're of fireworks and we're going to have 15 fireworks in a circle and the radius of the circle is going to be uh, three blocks and the ball type is going to be a burst. If you don't know this, you can easily see all the configs here and some examples. But we're, and then, but we are doing our own. A color is, uh, we're going to make a green one, so it's uh, red, green, blue. So red, zero, green, two, five, five, and then zero. And flicker, we're going to put false. We don't want any flicker, but we want trail, so it's the trail is going to be true. And then we put this to more, if boss has more than zero health, and we put... Uh, 100%. I will show you soon why, since we want this to be executed all the time. And then we do, since this is a uh, pack skill, it will execute this one first, then this one, and then continue on the list. And we can actually put some delay between them, so we put delay, and this is delay in ticks, so 20 ticks is one second, so we're going to have one second delay. And then we can copy this, and we're going to make another circle and it's going to be a little more uh, dark green so we put 125 and we are going to do a bigger circle it's going to be radius 5 and then we can copy this so it delays another second and execute even a bigger circle with 7 in radius and it's going to be a completely black so we save it and then we're going to do uh, another second and this thing here is actually so you can you know when you see the firework like I need to dodge the skill so it's it can make some intense uh, uh, skills boss fights sort of so we're actually going to do some damage here so we're going to use the throw throw skill so we paste it in and the radius is going to be 10 so you can actually if you walk away 10 blocks you can dodge the skill and the horizontal skill is going to be zero and the vertical we're going to be thrown up in the air and we're going to put the 10 and then more than zero 100% so we have actually created a, a blast skill and it's a pack skill so now we're going to connect it to the test boss so if we go here we do two spaces and then we write pack 
and then the name of it, which is Blast, and then the percent that, or uh, the health thing. So we're going to put it on uh, 100. So when the boss has 100 health, it will execute, and then it's going to be 100%. And then we copy this, and we want it to be executed at 50% health as well. So we save it, go in game. I hope this works now, and e reload epic boss, and we spawn the boss, and we do some damage to him. So when it's 100, 100 health, it will execute, you can see, and now it will be thrown up in the air, and uh, that's a pretty cool skill. So now I'm trying to dodge it, so if we hit it, oh shit, we run away, and we can dodge the throw. Pretty cool and then we can go back and fight the boss. So that's everything for this skill tutorial. You can make some pretty damn awesome skills. <laughs> I will try to do some uh, speed coding later that I will do some uh, very cool skills and uh, I hope you like this video and uh, I will see you next time uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. See ya! Badoom!